Hey out there, this is Lucas Miller, the singing zoologist, coming at you with my first ever webcam video. The first of many, I'm hoping. Uh, so here we go. I've got some questions that came in on my Facebook fan page from a fan in Malaysia. Man, the internet is an amazing thing. It's just amazing how uh, from my little space here in Texas, I'm reaching people all over the world. So it's a lot of fun. And she asked some questions that a lot of kids have asked me over the years, so I thought it'd be a good subject for this first little uh, video. Um, she wants to know, she's interested in becoming a zoologist. And she asked me some kind of basic questions about what the zoologists do and how to get there. So here we go. She's, uh, she asked, first of all, what are they really doing? And it depends. They do a lot of different things. Many zoologists today are looking at things at the the cellular level, or even smaller than that, the molecular level, the chemicals that our bodies are made of, uh, the ways they uh, interact with other chemicals and other parts of our body. So a lot of zoologists do work in the lab. Uh, I've spent some time working in a genetics lab, which was, was very interesting. Uh, I found that my talents were more about teaching and more about writing about science. So I just want to make sure that everybody out there understands that I'm the singing zoologist and I don't have a PhD in zoology. I'm not a practicing research zoologist. But I think I know enough to help you guys know what you need to do to get started if you want to go on and become a zoologist. Now there are what we call field zoologists and one of the greats, a person I really encourage you to look up is a, a man named Dr. E. O. Wilson, Edward O. Wilson. He is probably one of the, well he's certainly one of the most loved zoologists of our time. Uh, he's done an amazing amount of work with ants He's written for scientists. He's written for the public. You can see him featured on uh, some PBS specials. They did a, a great documentary of him about uh, two or three years ago, 2008. Uh, you can also hear him on a few of my favorite radio show, which is called uh, Radio Lab, which is produced by WNYC. Uh, I've got some links on my website if you want to look up Radio Lab. Uh, anyway, so what are they doing there? Sometimes they're going out into the field. There's a lot of stuff that we can learn with animals in captivity. Maybe they're in a zoo, maybe they're in a lab. Uh, there's an amazing facility in Atlanta with chimpanzees where they've tried to create a natural environment for them. And they can do pretty much what they would do in the jungles of Africa. But often we need to go to the place where they're uh, living to study their behaviors. A lot of field zoologists are studying behaviors of animals uh, to see what they're really doing in the wild. Uh, sometimes they're uh, learning about what's called ecology, which are their relationships to other species in their habitat. It could be plants, it could be animals, it could be bacteria. Uh, there's a lot that we have to go to the field to learn about. And those are the jobs we usually think of zoologists doing. Uh, by the way, very few zoologists actually work in zoos. Uh, they are, originally zoos were places uh, created for studying animals, but they kind of got uh, taken over by all of us curious people that just wanted to see the animals and watch them. And that has really become one of the, the main missions of zoos now is educating people about wildlife. Um, but not that many zoologists actually study in a zoo. All right, now she also asked what subjects does she needs to study to get there to become a zoologist. Uh, first of all, you've definitely got to take biology in high school. Uh, if you enjoy that, that's a good sign you're going to enjoy studying that further on in college. Uh, you're going to need to study your sciences like chemistry, like physics. Uh, they do relate. They're very important to understand these basic chemical concepts and advanced chemical concepts to understand living organisms. Uh, physics are, uh, the study of physics is also very important. Okay. Uh, she, uh, she wanted to know where uh, zoologists work, and I kind of covered that a little bit. Some of them study in laboratories. I'd say the majority of them do. Uh, today in this age. Some of them do work in the wild. If what you're picturing is going off to the jungles of South America or something like that, uh, you can do that. You just have to work very, very hard because a lot of people, that's a cool job and a lot of people want to do that. Um, and the last question that she asks is, what is the most unforgettable experience I had in zoology? Uh, again, I want to just say I've done some research. 
I'm more of a science teacher than a scientist. But I did get an opportunity after I went to college and I majored in zoology. I thought I was going to go on to become a sea turtle scientist. And I got to go to Costa Rica to study the Olive Ridley sea turtle, a little town called Ostianal, where you can see Arribadas. Now, this is another cool thing to look up on the, uh, on the internet. Look up an Arribada on YouTube. You can see some amazing pictures. You've got hundreds, thousands. We've even seen videos of tens of thousands of sea turtles coming up in a single night to lay their eggs. I got to witness that. Uh, I don't think I saw tens of thousands, but we certainly saw hundreds, if not thousands. If you sit there one place, those mama turtles will shuffle up next to you. They might start digging a nest right behind you and flipping sand in the back of your head. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, and the most unforgettable part of that was that I met my wife studying sea turtles. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think that's going to do it for, for this little uh, webcam video. If you've got more questions, fire them at me. Uh, I may write you an answer or I may make some more videos like this. Uh, but uh, thanks so much for the questions and I appreciate it.